Well, hey guys, today it's February 28th and we're getting into the prime part of shed season coming up here. Really excited to start putting some miles on to try and find some of these antlers. I thought I'd just give you guys my five best tips for uh, shed hunting this time of year. First tip I have would be always check south facing slopes. They're a great place, deer love to bed. That sun hits there most of the day this time of year. And um, when there's cold days, the deer want to lay in the sun. And a lot of times you just find sheds laying there or going out towards food which kind of leads me into my second point is that bed to feed pattern. Obviously deer are trying to spend the least amount of calories day to day, try to keep their body weight up throughout the winter and the cold months. And um, they're gonna move as little as possible. So their patterns are gonna be really direct from their bedding location to their feeding location or little areas around feeding locations like uh, terraces, along fields, brushy waterways, things like that are great places to check this time of year. I'll start this next tip off by saying there's never really a bad time to shed hunt in my opinion. I think it's great to get out with friends and just enjoy walking and being outside. But um, overcast days or dreary days where there's a slight drizzle are always your best friends. They just seem to make antlers pop just a little bit. When you get days like today where you have bright sun just constantly throughout the day, it can be really tough to find antlers, especially in like areas like this around me. So always use that to your advantage. If you can, go through, uh, go through the weather and pick your best days to go into your best spots when you have a great conditions. And then obviously, a uh, great pair of binos can save you a lot of leg time. When you're in really open areas, being able to glass and just see if something looks like the tip of an antler to the naked eye, you put up your binos, can make that decision on what it is. Uh, these are the Bushnell Primes. That's kind of the ones I'm using right now. I think it's a great one that for a lot of people, it's really affordable price point as well. Lastly, I'd say the number one thing you can do is just put yourself out there and put miles on. Uh, if you're spending time walking good areas where you know the deer are frequent, it can't hurt to be there and spend time walking in the woods. So I hope you guys found some of these shed hunting tips useful and I uh, can't wait to see what you guys find this year.